matter of pole, whatever you have. If you have a pole, I want you to make your forearm vertical, and I want this end coming and hitting the cheek or the neck, like this. Don't hurt yourself, just get the move. If you got a bat, hold it on the knob and bring the knob to your nose. Just turn it, don't bring it, turn it. Okay? If I got a bat, I'm going knob to my nose. Okay? This is the move that gets your barrel down. Okay? If you've got a pull, this end is going to probably hit you in the cheek. Okay? This hand needs to, you need to like make a muscle. You don't want to over tense it, but you can't let this hand float around. It's got to be a solid, this has to be a solid platform for you to do this. This is all I'm doing. Thumb in, thumb out. Thumb in, thumb out. Thumb in, thumb out. Okay? Solid platform. If my hand starts moving around, it gets real sloppy. Get my swing plane, just gets crazy. Watch this. If I get a high pitch and I'm doing this properly, both the knob and the barrel will go right through the ball. You see that? Hold this ball right here for me. I'm not going to hurt you. Hold it right there. Right up. Whoops. See that? My knob would hit the ball if it was long enough, and my barrel would hit the ball if it's long enough. Now put it down here. Okay? I was doing this. I'm going to do the same thing from here. My knob and my barrel both would go through the ball. Okay? Now put it down low and away at my knees. Okay? Now, what's critical here, and you probably haven't noticed it, is my hand has never moved from my shoulder. It's right here at the high pitch. It's right here on the middle pitch. It's right here on the low pitch. I can't let this hand get sloppy. That causes length in your swing. From the time we're young, we're learning to do things with our arms. We're sitting at the table, dinner table. We want the salt, we reach for the salt. We want the ketchup, we reach for the ketchup. Okay? I have to get you to understand that your arms are the enemy in the swing. We cannot let our arms get active in the swing. Okay? This turn of the barrel is a very true swing plane. You see that? It's very true. If my hands get active, watch this. I'm not doing that intentionally. I'm trying to do the same thing, but my hands floating around. I'm trying to do this, but when my hands float around, I just get a really sloppy, very inaccurate swing plane. This swing plane is extremely accurate. This is why Aaron and Scott tell me when they're right, they can hit anything, any location. Because the same swing plane goes everywhere. You just tilt a little bit more or a little bit less, or your leg turns you a little bit more or a little bit less. But this happens at every pitch. Okay? Here's the high pitch that's outside. Here's the high pitch, I mean the medium pitch that's outside. Here's the low pitch that's outside. Here's the high pitch down the middle. What happened? My leg, this leg, just turns a little more. I'm still doing the same thing. I was, here's the high pitch outside. My leg isn't turning much at all, but I've got torsion in it. And I can hit that high outside ball. But when the pitch is middle, now my leg, I still got the same torsion, but my leg turns and pivots the barrels of the ball. If the ball's inside, same thing. <coughs> outside, middle, inside, the same plane hits all the balls. Now all I have to do is adjust for up and down. And I do that with a little tilt, or a, lot of, or a little bit tilt, or not much tilt. So, outside middle, middle middle, inside middle. Outside low, middle low, inside low. Okay? What are you hearing? You hearing something back there? Okay? Each one of those, my hand barely moves from my shoulder. Maybe a little bit on some pitches, and by the way, we have the option to let it out if we need to, if the ball moved on us, or pull it in if we need to, if the ball moved on us, because we didn't power the bat with the arm. If we power or create force with the arm, we don't have the ability to move it, okay? So we have to learn what we do with our leg, boom. Okay, no matter if it's a high pitch, a medium pitch, a 
low pitch. This is doing the same thing every time. And we're going to now snap our hands. So with the pole, notice when I snap my hands what this knob end does. And I'm telling you for your protection. Because some of you are going to do it wrong, and you're going to whack yourself in the side and it hurts. <laughs> okay? This knob end of your pole must always go above the forearm. This move here, pronation of the lead arm keeps that knob above the forearm. If you don't do that, you're going to whack yourself in the side and it hurts. Okay? So I don't care what pitch you're swinging at. Hold that ball up here again. A high pitch. See that? It's above my forearm. If I let it, ooh, by the way, when it snapped here, did you see my swing plane was about to roll over? Okay, see that? But if I snap this here, my plane is true. Okay, so spread out with um, one guy, I guess one guy can take you with a pole, and I'm going to come around with you and watch. I'm going to get you to do it at different heights, and then I'll come around for the other guys. Okay, while you're standing waiting for your turn, use your bat and try to get the field. There you go. Oh, oh, no. We don't. We don't. Start it up and then put it down and pick up our foot. We just stand here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's handy. If I had a way to attach this hand right here, I would. So let it move. So you're going to do this. See how the hand stays right there? Okay. That's the kind of feeling about it. Your hands way out there? Still out there? When you when you gonna stop? <laughs> Still push it. See, they all want to push. Yeah. They all have Keep reached across the, the table place. with their arms. These arms are really yeah. handy things. I know. I don't have to stand and walk over here and get it. I can reach it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now do this. Okay. That's all you gotta do. Do it again. Okay. Now add this to it. Way better. Mm -hmm. Okay? Let your body turn. And then flick your wrist. Better. Okay? Now, how about a little pitch? It's better. Now we gotta get under. We gotta get pointed in this direction. Pull around. Tilt down like you catch your feet. Now turn your wrist. Better. Better. Okay? Now clean it up a little bit. He's got the right idea. When I had him move his body, that gave him the freedom to just snap his hands because he couldn't figure out how to get the barrel of the ball without moving his arms. But when his body turned all the way to there, oh, well, now all I gotta do is this to get the barrel of the ball. Make sense? Okay. Clean it up. 